This weekend we're going to be sharing our first ever experience using Boondockers Welcome. But first, let's bring you up to speed because yesterday when we went to take out our RV for our second trip ever, we ran into a very big issue. So I've run into a bit of a problem, and by a bit of a problem, I mean a pretty big problem. I'm here by myself trying to get the trailer hitched up, and I was just pulling off the tire cover, and I found that that tire is totally flat. I have obviously never changed the tire on a travel trailer. Thankfully, one of the first things I ever bought for this thing was the equipment needed to change the tire, but I had never really gotten a chance to practice, so, so I guess now is as good a time as any to get some practice in. I'm supposed to be meeting Chris in about 15 minutes and she's about 45 minutes up the highway. I have to let her know that the tire is flat and I, I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Dang it, man. Babe, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Um, so some bad news. Why, what? The, the trailer has a flat tire. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I bought, I think I bought the right equipment to be able to change the tire, but obviously uh, I've never done it before. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm currently out here by myself, so. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know, actually. Um, I'm currently finishing up my client. Okay. Um, I'll call you when I'm done. Okay, all right, baby. Love you. Love you. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. I gotta say, never having done this before, this is incredibly nerve-wracking, lifting up your travel trailer on this little bottle jack. Very nerve-wracking. After more failed attempts than I even want to mention, I moved the jack to the front tire to just basically put a Hail Mary up in the air and see what happens. And finally, we got the trailer up high enough for the tire to spin, and now I have to see if the back axle is high enough off the ground to be able to fit the spare. If not, I have a shovel. Oh my word. That took a solid 30, maybe even 45 minutes to try and figure out. All right, it is finally time to go. I don't even wanna know how long I've been here and how long that took me, but the spare tire's on, all the tire pressures are checking out, they're all at 65 PSI. Maybe a more experienced RVer can tell me why I was not able to put the spare on when the bottle jack was lifting closest to that tire, but when I moved the bottle jack to the front axle, it then lifted the rear axle enough for me to put the spare on. I have no idea why that worked, which is why I didn't try it earlier, but nonetheless, it doesn't matter. It's on, it's time to go get Chris. So now that you're caught up to speed, let's talk about what Boondockers Welcome is. Boondockers Welcome is an online platform similar to Airbnb where you can find hosts willing to let you park your RV on their property. They boast over 3,100 hosts across North America and the best part is the nightly stays are totally free. That's right, the only price you pay is the yearly membership. Their website says that using Boondockers Welcome is a way to escape crowded and noisy campgrounds in favor of private spots on beautiful properties while making meaningful connections with friendly hosts. This is our first time using Boondockers Welcome so we're putting it to the test and we'll let you know if it's something we see ourselves using on our year-long road trip. So that's what Boondockers Welcome is. Now let's talk about where we are. We are just north of Tampa near Brooksville on a beautiful piece of private property. I think it's time to take a tour. Here we are at our very first Boondockers Welcome. I gotta say, I feel like we're a little bit spoiled. It looks like this place has a ton to offer. A leveled RV pad. A bench under a beautiful oak tree. A fire pit. Firewood for the fire pit. Oh, and lots of moss. Some very helpful directions. 
some ugly beach chairs. Those are ours, but side note, if you guys are experienced RVers and you have any good recommendations for camping chairs, put them in the comments below. We got our three main utilities, city water, 30 amp electricity, and sewage. A donation box, but like we said earlier, while there is no fee to stay at these sites, the hosts that do offer various utilities like electric, sewage, and water sometimes do ask for compensation or donation to cover those utilities. Our current host is only asking for a $5 donation. Our current host is only asking a $5 don oh, donation. Oh, donation. <laughs> <laughs> Our current host is only asking a $5 donate. Oh my gosh. Do you want me to do this one? No, it's okay. Our current host is only asking a $5 donation towards sewage and a $5 donation towards electricity. Water is covered. A welcome flyer complete with Wi Fi password. A field for fun activities. <laughs> that was too good. You let, you let it hit you. Uh, that was planned, I promise. A cute little pond. And last, a lovely gazebo for fishing and relaxing. Coming to you live from the gazebo here at our Boondockers Welcome. We just got done with a very lovely chat with our host. We just got to sit down with him, talk for about an hour, swap stories. He had a lot of great advice for us. He's been an RVer for much longer than we have. And now we're just doing some fishing, enjoying the evening. Yeah. George caught one fish so far. He's hoping for one more and then we're gonna head inside for dinner. So when I was doing some research on Boondockers Welcome and kind of what it was, compared it with RV parks, harvest hosts, stuff like that. One thing that I did find that makes Boondockers Welcome unique is the social aspect. I even saw a couple blogs refer to it like a social media site for RVers because like Chris said, you're staying on people's private property. You get the opportunity to have more one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. So I think that's one of many things that we are going to enjoy about Boondockers Welcome is the social aspect. Hopefully we're gonna make some friends out on the road. Especially if you think about it, like I love George, but it's just gonna be me and him for a lot of the time. Come over oh, here, come oh, over oh, here. Oh, oh. So let's be real, for me, there's not much that's gonna make this Boondockers Welcome site any better. I'm catching fish right now, maybe 20 yards from uh, our RV. I am, uh, I'm stoked right now, this is awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. You want, you look scared of it. I don't want to fuck around on me. All right, put your thumb uh -uh, in your uh -uh, mouth. Uh-uh, I'm not doing that. Babe, put your thumb. No, I don't wanna. <laughs> that's where I draw the line. <laughs> what? I don't touch inside a fish's mouth. Either. All right, hold the line.
Well, that's it, our last meal this weekend. It was a good one. We didn't get to show you the finished product because we were so hungry, we ended up just eating it before we got a shot of it. It is sad to leave this place, but I will say that for Chris and I, this weekend has showed us that Boondockers Welcome is two thumbs up, 10 out of 10, absolutely going to be trying again on the road this upcoming year. Thank you all so much for following along with us this weekend. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel because this year we have some huge plans and we would love for you to be a part of our journey. We'll see you guys next time. Later.